Hey guys, so today is my 26th birthday, so I thought I would do a little birthday get ready with me. I'm going out to dinner tonight and I obviously wanna do like full glam, so I thought I would just film it and kinda of do our makeup together today. So if you just wanna kinda of chit chat, hang out with me and get ready together, let's get started. So let me show you my idea for today. I actually saw this look on TikTok and it's not, it's not like a revolutionary look. I'll pop it up on the screen right here. It's actually like a bridal makeup look, but what I really liked about this is the smoky wing. I love to wear winged eyeliner but I almost like never smoke it out so I think I want to do that today with pretty neutral colors on the eye but like black smoky wing full coverage skin like full glam moment here so I already popped on my brows I'm wearing the Kosas brow pop this has been like my go-to eyebrow pencil recently and then I use the NYX lift and snatch brow pen on top I've been really liking these two together all right let's prime our eyes I'm gonna use my favorite eye primer which is the rare beauty one I actually just bought a backup of this because I feel like I'm running low and for a while it was sold out on Sephora's website so I needed to get another one so I literally just coat this on my entire eye and making sure I get out here in the outer corner and all the way in here. And I'm gonna blend it out with a Sigma F64 concealer brush. And then as always setting my eyelids with the RCMA No Color Powder. Let me pull up this eyeshadow look again. So honestly, you could literally do like any kind of colors for this look. You don't have to copy it exactly. But I was thinking like, what palettes do I want to use today? Like I can kind of use whatever I want. Um, so I grabbed the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette and the Natasha Denona Gold palette. I love these two. I do think Alter Ego has dupes for them too if you want like a cheaper alternative. But I kind of like the kind of mustardy yellow tones in here. I think I might lean a little more kind of mustardy today and like just these golds are stunning. Same kind of thing with the gold palette. Maybe I'll stick to just one. I don't know, but like these kind of mustardy shades, I want those today. All right, so from the gold palette, I'm gonna start with this shade. Okay, and I'm gonna apply that throughout my entire crease. So for my birthday tonight, my mom and I are going out to my favorite restaurant, which is Urban Fondue. We do this almost every year now. Like it's just my favorite restaurant. I mean, you really just can't go wrong with fondue. The cheese course is my favorite. I could literally eat cheese and bread all day. And so my mom loves it too. So just her and I are going out tonight. And then during the day today, I'm just kind of spending the day with my boyfriend, my doggo. I wanted to do my makeup, obviously. Um, he brought me McDonald's and Dutch Bros in bed as I requested. I just love a good egg McMuffin. Like I love McDonald's, I will admit it. And so coffee, McDonald's in bed. Good to go, he got me flowers. All right, now I'm just taking a light skin tone color blending shade and I'm just blending around that first shade I laid down. Now on the same E25, I'm gonna take this shade from the gold palette and just kind of add some more depth to the crease with this shade. And then tomorrow night for my birthday, my boyfriend and I, and Rue of course, are going to my best friend's house. And we're honestly just gonna like eat out, have some snacks, drink and play games. Like that's so fun to me. Like that's what I wanna do my birthday weekend is just drink and play games with my close friends. I'm also gonna add that brown shade to the outer part of my lid. We really like to play catchphrase. I also love Telestrations, the game that's kind of like telephone but drawing. That one's so fun. We also play like Sorry too. Like I just love board games. And then my best friend does have a dog, so my dog and her dog will literally just play all freaking night. It's so fun. Okay, I like where this is headed. Oh, and then also speaking of going to dinner with my mom, I just want to say thank you so much for all of the kind comments on the video that I did with her the other week. I was honestly blown away by the comments and just how nice you guys were and how much you really enjoyed that style of video. My mom has read every single comment and, she, and she's like screenshotting them and sending them to me and she's like, oh my gosh, your subscribers are so nice. And I was like, I know, right? And she was like, whenever I feel bad about myself, I'm just going to read these nice comments. And I was like... <laughs> So sweet. So I think tonight at dinner, her and I are definitely gonna plan our next video together. Like, like what kind of makeup look I'd wanna do on her or if there's any makeup looks that I've done on myself that she would want me to do on her. Like, I definitely see myself doing this as like a series on my channel. So I'm so happy that you guys liked it. Okay, I'm gonna clean off this brush on my Sigma Switch just to get some pigment off of it. I'm still using the same brush, but I'm just gonna pick up this lightest brown. And I'm just gonna dust that on my lid for now just to help blend out these matte shades. I'm definitely gonna add shimmer to this look though, but I just need something to soften this a little bit. Now I'm gonna take the deepest brown and start to deepen this up even more. I'm not 
gonna add too much at first because I know it's gonna get even deeper when I do like the smoky wing. So I'm just kind of keeping this concentrated right out here. All right, so I'm gonna take a Sigma E54 and spray that with some setting spray. And I'm gonna take this shimmer down at the bottom. All right, and let's go in the inner part of the lid. Now I gotta use my finger. Oh, gorgeous. And then I'm going back to my E25 and blending around that shimmer. All right, so here's that gold shimmer on the lid. I kind of went about halfway in. Now I'm gonna pick up this kind of deeper bronzy shimmer on the E54, and I'm gonna place that right where the gold shimmer is meeting the matte brown. So right there, kind of on the outer three quarters. I just want a little bit of this. To me, this just kind of helps blend the gold shimmer into the dark brown by using a darker shimmer. All right, so I'm not exactly sure how I want to do this kind of smudgy wing. As for wings, I typically use just a liquid liner because that's like the easiest way to do it, but I need to use a product that will smudge. So I think that's gonna be my House Labs Gel Coal Liner and Punk. I think I'm gonna try to do the technique that I did on my mom where I like take some product on the back of my hand because it's super creamy and then draw it on and then I think I'll be able to smudge it out. Okay, so I'm taking that on a Sigma E65. Okay, I'm gonna start on my lash line. Not bad, not bad. I'm gonna try to just take some of the pencil and like kind of dot it on that wing and then kind of smudge it out. I'm gonna go over the outer edge of the wing with my liquid product because this will be like the blackest black and then I think it'll be easier to smudge out the pencil liner. And then I will bring this across my whole so you can see I like outlined the outer part of the wing. And now I'm gonna take more pencil and kind of smudge that. Okay, the wings are kind of there. Now I'm gonna go back to that darkest brown on my little angle brush. And I'm gonna use that on the inner part of the wing Kind of smudge it out and soften it out, I guess. Again, I'm not really sure what I'm doing with this liner today. Okay, I'm adding a little bit of black shadow. I'm just using the one from the little Makeup by Mario palette. All right, that's all I'm gonna do on the top lid for now. I think it'll come together in the end, we'll see. All right, let's do the face. I'm gonna take my Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. I also just shaved my face this morning with my little Jill razor to get rid of like peach fuzz. So my skin is so smooth right now. All right, like I said, we're doing full coverage glam today. So I'm gonna take a little Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Sometimes I don't even know this really does anything, but I feel bougie when I use it. And then for foundation, when I want just like full coverage, beautiful skin, I like the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. So I'm using the shade Warm Nude. Going in with another little layer of this. All right, so that is just the foundation on my skin. See, it covers up most of my spots. I just love this one. All right, now taking the NARS Pot Concealer. And then blending it out with my concealer brush. All right, now I'm gonna pop on the Sigma Under Eye Brightener. And then for my concealer, I'm gonna use the Hourglass one. I just got this tiny little sponge in my Ipsy bag, so I wanted to try this out. And the 
this is when I'll clean up my eyeshadow too with the concealer. So you can see it right there. So I'm just kind of following that line of the wing and just getting really close to it. And then I've been back to using my little Tati Beauty like blend -a full sponge to set my under eyes, especially for like a full coverage look. I just like how it applies powder down here. I know you can't get this sponge anymore, but I think like any kind of powder puff would do. So I just like really press it in. Oh, and again, I'm using the RCMA powder. This is the best translucent powder and you just can't tell me otherwise. And it's so cheap. All right, now for setting my whole face, I'm actually gonna use the Makeup by Mario Skin Perfector in light medium. All right, so I'm gonna take that on a Sigma F78, the biggest brush in the world. And at first I was kind of worried that it would look like too bronzy all over the face, but it really doesn't. It just kind of gives a nice glow all over. Yeah, I just really like the finish this gives my skin. Super pretty. All right, now I'm gonna take the Sigma bronzer in medium and I'm using the Sigma F44. So for blush, I'm gonna take a Sigma blush in Tiger Lily on a Sigma F37. Now I'm just gonna take my sponge and just kind of lightly pat over everything. And then for highlighter, I'm gonna use Sigma Sizzle, of course. All right, that is it for the face makeup. Let's zoom in and finish up the eyes. All right, for my lower lash line, I'm gonna take that brown shade I was using on a Sigma E20 and just apply that along my entire lower lash line. Then I'm gonna go back to the E42 and that very first shade I used, that kind of mustardy one, and just use that to kind of blend and soften up the lower lash line. And then on the E20, I'm gonna go back to that darkest shade and just kind of stamp that along the lower lash line. I'm gonna run my House Labs liner in my waterline. And then smudge that out with the E20. And then I'm gonna go back to my Sigma Sizzle highlighter and pop that in my inner corner. All right, that is it for the eyeshadow. I'm gonna go pop on some mascara and lashes and then I'll show you Oh, I just realized my camera was not filming my whole outro. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad I caught that though. Whew. Okay, I finished my face for my lashes. I popped on my brand, The Bright Lashes in the style Lush. I love these lashes for going out. They're so pretty and just like luscious. And then for my lipstick, I popped on the Fenty Beauty lipstick in Pose Queen. It's kind of like a deeper peachy color something kind of different for me. And then I popped on the Tarte Maracuja Lip Plump in Peachy Beige on top. I've been wearing this on top of like any lip product because it's just so juicy and glossy and it pairs with anything and it's plumping as well. I'm super happy with how my makeup turned out today. I think it's so pretty, full glam, just what I wanted. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.